Welcome to this short video tutorial that deals with the management of the code lists according to the Inspire European Directive and shows a code list encoding example by means of the Hale open source software tool. Legal documents to be referenced for the managing of code lists according to Inspire are the implementing rules for interoperability of special datasets and services, that is Commission Regulation No. 1089, and its amendment Commission Regulation No. 1253, the generic conceptual model of the Inspire Data Specification, the D2.5, and the Data Specification Technical Guidelines for Annex 1, 2 and 3 Special Data Teams. All these documents are downloadable from the Inspire website. Implementing rules provide the definition of, of what a code list is. That is, a code list is an open enumeration that can be extended. And the enumeration is a fixed list of named literal values. Article 6 of the implementing rules that has been amended by Commission Regulation No. 1253 defines four possible types of code lists and sets out rules to be followed to extend code list values. Code lists shall be one of the following types. Code lists whose allowed values comprise only the values specified in the implementing rules. So these values cannot be extended. Code lists whose allowed values comprise the values specified in the implementing rules and narrower values defined by data providers. And uh, narrower value means that the value has a hierarchical relationship to a more general parent value. Code lists whose allowed values comprise the values specified in the implementing rules and additional values at any level defined by data providers and code list whose allowed values comprise any values defined by data providers at any level. Point 3 of Article 6 states that when uh, uh, for an attribute whose type is a code list, as referred to in point B, C or D, a data provider provides a value that is not specified in the implementing rules, that value and its definition shall be made available in a register. And point 4 states that attributes or association roles of special object types or data types whose type is a code list may only take values that are allowed according to the specification of the code list. The generic conceptual model states also which is the purpose of code lists and uh, other context and assumption in the Annex G and the data specification provides guidelines for the implementation of what led down in the implementing rules and help us with recommendation. As for example, uh, regards uh, point one of article six, recommendation is made that additional values defined by data providers should not replace or redefine any value already specified in the implementing rules. Also, as for uh, point three and four, where uh, the obligation is stated for uh, data providers to publish the, uh, their values in uh, public register, note is uh, written stating that guidelines for setting up registers for additional values and how to register additional values in this register is still an open discussion point between member states and the commission. It also recommended that if technical guidelines provide additional values for a code list to those specified in the implementing rules, these values should be used. As for the governance, code lists are distinguished in Inspire Governed and governed by organization outside Inspire. For Inspire Governed code lists, they will be made available in the Inspire code list register at the Inspire EC Europe EU code list, code list name, where the code list name is in uh, upper KML case. Uh, that means uh, the name of the code list is composed of multiple words that are joined together uh, as a single word with the first letter of each word capitalized.
and identifiers for values of inspired governed code lists are constructed using the pattern HTTP inspire EC Europe EU code list, code list name and then value. Code list values are, encoding, are encoded using HTTP URIs and labels also for uh, code lists that are governed by an organization outside of Inspire. Rules for generating these URIs and labels are specified by the organization itself. And uh, here is recommendation 6. The HTTP URIs and the labels used for encoding code list values should be taken from the Inspire code list registry for Inspire governed code lists and generated according to the relevant rules specified for externally governed code lists. So far the theory and now we go with the encoding example. It's a real example from Geosmart City European project. Um, inspired data theme involved is building and uh, in this case we need to add new values to an existing inspired code list. Uh, relevant code list is current use value uh, and uh, its ex extensibility is narrower uh, that is we can extend only with a uh, hierarchical relationship in fact uh, data specification says that uh, the code list for attribute current use of building uh, feature type may also be extended by member states but only by providing more detailed values under the hierarchical structure of the Inspire code list. In the green box, you can see um, the values in the Inspire code list. Uh, we have the parent values, uh, residential, agriculture, industrial, commerce and services, and ancillary. And then uh, nested within, we see uh, the child values. In our case, we wanted to extend uh, uh, commerce and the services, we extended the office parent value with the post office, company office, governmental office uh, child value and the public service uh, parent value with school, hospital, city hall child value. Keep in mind that whether relevant inspired code list values exist, they should be referenced while uh, should the needed value not be contained in the relevant inspire code list that value and its definition should be made available in a public registry and now we go with the live demo and um, the demo uses the same L project of the webinar on data transformation with L, Geosmart City Green Energy Scenario and the video is available on Epsilon Italian YouTube channel um, here we go, this is the HEL project. In this case, uh, uh, the source data model is a shape file of a building and the target data model is uh, uh, the Geosmart City data model which extends Inspire building. So let's go with the import of the code list. It's an Inspire code list, so we click on from Inspire registry, click again and then we find building and current use okay and then we have to click finish to load the code list in my case i have already loaded the code list so i click cancel now i'm ready to fill in the current use attribute href value with the values contained in the SUs attribute of the shape file. Function to use is the classification function. I click next and then I uh, fill uh, source values with enumeration and occurring values. These are my source values. That is values contained in the SUs attribute of the shape file and then I can specify here which is the target value. In the first case, individual residence is a value contained in the Inspire code list we have uh, just loaded. So I click, select the code list, current use, okay, and then select 
in this case in this case okay individual residence okay the same can be said for residential value so i click double click select code list and choose residential okay post office and school are not contained in this file code list so i have to specify just smart city address okay and the same thing i can do for the post office okay here we are and i click finish If we click on the data perspective, we can see the results of our mapping. Uh, for example, in the first record, we can see the uh, native value is residential in the shapefile. And we can see that uh, in the building feature type, um, HTTP inspire, EC Europe, code list, current use, residential value is assigned. So for uh, record number two, in this case, uh, um, school is uh, the current use for the building and we can see that uh, smart city code list has been referenced and school value is selected so we hope we've made your life easier when dealing with code lists thank you for watching